When starting out to build a website as a developer, you will come across these two terminologies, static and dynamic. Static and dynamic websites are basically the two main types of websites. They describe the different types of websites that you are developing, and each determines the amount of code you need to write, either to add interactivity or not. Hey everyone, my name is Daniel from Verpex, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the difference between static and dynamic websites. And I'm also going to be giving you a few examples of each to help you choose which is better when developing your website. First of all, let's take a look at static websites. They are the most basic type of website, which is developed using plain HTML. In most cases, this is called a flat page or a static page. It doesn't require server-side scripting, just client-side like HTML and CSS. When it comes to interactivity, static websites do not involve any interactivity features except for interactivity with hyperlinks, images, or graphics. Generally, static websites are websites where the content remains unchanged, and any changes or additions that we want to make can only be changed from the source code. All content on a static website is transferred to the user in exactly the form stored on the web server, which automatically displays the content in the same format to every user that visits the website. Major examples of static websites are blog websites, landing pages, forms, and newsletter contents. Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of a static website. A static website can be developed in a very short time, and the cost of hosting a static website is lower due to its smaller size. It's also less likely to fail due to the need for fewer systems to operate. It has a super simple structure and may be quickly transferred from one server to another with less processing time. The disadvantages are that it's harder to update. It has multiple pages, so it may require updating individually. The admins panel is not made available it's difficult to develop in terms of content design and architecture and lastly there's no interactivity between the user and the web page a static website is composed of texts images and multimedia elements that contain content created using HTML and CSS they do not require much coding or technical knowledge, nor does it require any special software or programming skills. When it comes to a simple static website, each user sees the same design and text every time that they visit the website until the developer changes this. Now let's take a look at dynamic websites. When a user visits the site, the contents of the website are displayed differently for each viewer depending on demographics, time of day, location, language settings, and so on. These type of websites are more functional and give the user more interactivity within the website. When a client requests a web page, the server then processes that request and provides the web page in response. Dynamic sites also communicate with the background database. These dynamic sites that access the database are also called database-based sites. E-commerce sites and social media networking sites are two big examples of dynamic websites. In order to develop a dynamic website, you need to have knowledge of server-side scripting languages such as PHP, JavaScript, JSP, and or ASP. Generally, these dynamic sites generate content that changes depending on the user. Dynamic sites require more than just server-side scripting. When a user visits the page, the code is passed on to the web server and the resulting HTML page is displayed on the client's web browser. They use a combination of server-side and client-side scripting to generate this dynamic content. Examples of dynamic websites are e-commerce sites like Amazon, Netflix, or eBay, and social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Here are some advantages and disadvantages of dynamic websites. The advantages are that dynamic websites are developed with high-end programming that allows you to easily make changes. They are easier to maintain even if they are loaded with information and graphics. They also provide interactivity between the user and the web page, therefore improving the overall user experience. They are also extremely useful for e-commerce sites as they provide easy navigation through a number of pages. However, dynamic websites do take a lot longer to design and build. Now that we've covered that, let's take a close look at the difference between static and dynamic websites. A static website has fixed content, it has plain HTML code and CSS, it is more affordable to host, it's relatively difficult to maintain, but it is very easy to create. 
Dynamic Websites, on the other hand, has content that changes according to its user's preference. It is more costly to host. Dynamic Websites are more suitable for larger e-commerce sites and social media sites. They are in fact easier to maintain, but they are fairly complex to develop and build. Each of these websites fit for a different purpose. So the purpose of your content will determine what type of site you should go for. If you're looking for something affordable and easier to develop, then go for the static website. But if you're looking for something more advanced that gives users more interactivity within your website then go for a dynamic website with that being said thank you so much for watching if you found this video informative and it helped you out please do leave a like comment and subscribe with post notifications on that way you will never miss a new upload once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video